Hi, I'm Lucy from Sew so Essential and I'm here today with a roundup of the latest simplicity patterns plus gorgeous fabrics you could sew them up in. Everything's linked below, everything's available on our gorgeous website so do jump on and take a look and you'll also find a link to sign up for our weekly newsletter for a healthy dose of sewing inspiration straight to your inbox. So this simplicity release is super exciting, it's the biggest one I've seen in a long time, there are a lot of designs in here. I've just picked out my favourites I'll link them all below for you and then I'll also pop a link to the full range below for you as well. But the first pattern I want to talk about is Simplicity 9885, which is a knit dress pattern. And I just love the simplicity of this one. Uh, pardon the pun <laughs> um, but yeah it's an off the shoulder design so it's got it's on one shoulder asymmetric off the other shoulder the shoulder side has got the option for a long sleeve or no sleeve and then where the asymmetric side comes down you've got a big cut out at the side here which looks like it's probably elasticated because the fabric gathers and ruches around that cutout which creates nice sort of bit of movement and drape on the main body of the dress and means it's not too clingy which I really like and then where the pattern uh, comes across the shoulder here it's ruched or gathered there as well and that creates a little bit of drama and sort of a nice fit around the bust it just looks like it would hang really well on the body um, you've got the option for an asymmetric mini hem um, standard uh, sorry probably a knee length straight hem or a maxi length straight hem it runs in sizes 8 to 26 a 26 is a 48 bust 41 and a half waist and a 50 hip um, and I just think it would probably be a relatively easy sew um, but a lot of fun to wear and I just like the fact that yeah it's a knit dress but it isn't clingy you know it would hang nicely I think on the body um, and I think I just feel really sophisticated in that I love the design with that cut out at the side this the off the shoulder look and I just shamelessly copied the pattern packet with our ritual jersey fabric in this gorgeous red I thought that would work perfectly and would make very make the look on the packet really um, but we do do this in in a range of colours and we also have some lovely printed jerseys on the website as well so do check out the links below um, and see what you would like to sew it up in but that would be my choice. The next pattern I want to share is a Mimi G and Mimi G has done quite a few in this release and I think she's done a fantastic job she's really knocked it out of the park with this release I absolutely love this pattern it's 9893 and it's a cape pattern but it's definitely got like heavy utility trench coaty vibes but it's a cropped cape um, and I think it's I've seen a lot of these sort of cropped trench coats um, for spring in the shops and you know on the high street um, and I just think it's a definite trend for this season and this ticks the boxes beautifully I think it'd be a lot of fun to sew as well so it's got a big um, oversized sort of storm flap on the front on one side it's got big patch pockets it's a button down it's got a sharp collar it's got a storm flap on the back like I say lots of those sort of trench coat utility vibes I think it'd be really fun to sew and to wear it runs from an extra small to an extra extra large the extra extra large is a 48 bust 41 and a half waist and a 50 hip and it can be sewn up in a range of fab woven fabrics like broad broadcloths, denims, linens, twills, that sort of thing. And I thought our seven berry cotton twill would work beautifully for it. I've chosen this sort of olivey khaki colour. I think that would look great and would pair really well with lots of different things in your wardrobe, quite a sort of neutral colourway. Um, but we also stock this in a range of colours. We've got some bright popping colours. We've got a like, navy sort of colour, a beige colour if you prefer that more traditional trench coat colour. Um, and that would be my choice for that one. Then on to the next Mimi G pattern, which is 9894 really gorgeous um, separates or co-ord set um, so it's a very fitted bralette with bra cups um, and um, princess seams running down the centre of the cup down the front of the bodice a centre front seam lots of options for top stitching detail if you want to do that uh, princess seams at the back 
fastened at the side with the zip and narrow straps. It is cropped, but then it's designed to be paired with a high-waisted skirt, which is very fitted at the waist. And then there's a version, a midi-length flared version with princess seams at the front and back, or the mini version, which has also got princess seams at the front and back, but looks more sort of A-line than... Um, than flared, I would say, but in the fabric that Mimi G's chosen. But obviously you could then pair the skirt with, I think you could wear that midi length skirt with a t-shirt. Um, you could wear the bralette with trousers. So you could mix and match it with lots of different things. I thought it would look rather nice sewn up in our spearmint denim, which has got a stretch to it. So be quite useful for fitting that bralette and comfortable as well. Um, but I just thought that would be a really pretty a uh, cohort set sewn up in that or a traditional indigo um, denim would look lovely as well and then the next one's another Mimi G design and I love this one too so this is more of a sort of classic um, design and it has got it, we've got two different versions but both versions have got um, a square neckline with um, options for spaghetti straps or it can be sleeveless and it's a very fitted bodice it's got princess seams again front and back fastened at the center back with a zip and then very fitted at the waist you've got the option to make a belt um, and then it's got a very sort of full um, gathered skirt which you can make in a midi length or a mini, mini length I personally really love the midi length and I think this is one of those patterns that would be quite versatile you could make it um, in like a chambray or something or a linen perhaps and easily wear that midi length version as a very casual sort of day sundress with flat sandals you know you could wear it to the beach um, you could just wear it on hot days at home but then equally if you made it in a more high-end fabric you could make it a very dressy special occasion dress so I think it's really versatile like that um, and it's always good to have patterns like that in your stash it runs in a size 8 to 26 so the 26 is a 40 48 bus, 41 and a half waist and a 50 hip and you can make it up in a range of woven fabrics, chalets, fram, chambres, um, crepes, lawns, silky types, that sort of thing. I thought actually it kind of gave me vintage vibes and I thought actually I think this might be a cotton lawn. All the details are on the website so do check out the links below. It might be a poplin actually um, but I thought this beautiful um, polka dot fabric would work really well for that midi length version. I thought it'd look gorgeous in this. So it's a navy blue background it's a lovely silky soft handle and it's got these cute pink spots on it so that was my choice for that one the next pattern I want to share is a beautiful um, dress that comes in two size ranges. So the larger size range goes up to a very size inclusive 38, which is a 60 bust, 54 and a half waist and a 62 hip. It can be sewn up in a range of um, woven fabrics, chalets, crepes, lightweight poplins, linen types. You want something that's drapey and fluid. Um, the pattern number, sorry, is 9918. And I just love the design of this dress it's so beautiful so we've got a gorgeous sweetheart neckline with princess seams we've got the option for um, straps and then um, a cut out sort of um, frill uh, bottom half of the sleeve there so this section is cut out you've got a strap and then you've got a little frill section coming across the arm there or you've got the option for a really cute short puff sleeve um, that's gathered into either elastic or a cuff but it's quite a sort of full puff sleeve as well um, very fitted bodice very fitted at the waist and then you've got a lovely flared skirt which you can sew in a range of hem lengths really gorgeous very beautiful dress i think this would make a great dress for a wedding guest um, and the fabric i chose for that one is this hugely popular lyocell fabric which i've had to reorder um, I keep reordering it's absolutely gorgeous I can see why people are loving it it's lyocell so it's got a really silky soft handle beautiful drape and movement and I think the thing that people are just going wild for is this gorgeous colour combination it's just so unusual you've got this lovely sort of pale sage green background and then a magenta and purpley um, floral print uh, contrast in contrast to that sort of pale green 
background that's not a color combination i can remember seeing and i think that's why people are going for it. it's just so so pretty and just look at the beautiful movement on that and if you could feel it oh it just feels so silky soft so i think that would be perfect for that dress um the next one I want to share is Simplicity 9920. So this is another dress with cutouts, a really gorgeous design. Um, it's supposed to be easy to sew as well, apparently. They've labelled it as easy to sew. So it's got a crew neck or you can add a little neck band. Um, and then it's a sleeveless design it's got princess seams coming from the armhole and then the bodice comes into a v into a point at the front um, which overlaps the skirt and then you've got the cutouts at the side at the waist so um, your v comes down and joins the skirt and the skirt is shaped like that so that you've got cutouts either side um, and then the skirt you can go for a mini or midi length it's a lovely full skirt um, and then at the back it's got princess seams as well and obviously the cutouts carry on at the back it's fastened at the centre back with a zip it's just beautiful it's so chic and elegant um, I think you could make the mini version and make it quite sort of day wear but then the maxi or midi length version is more special occasion um, I'd really love to make this dress there's so many that I want to make right now I'm loving all the new season designs it runs from a 6 to a 24 a 20 is a 46 bust 39 waist and 48 hip and this is for woven fabrics again so chambray's cotton blends cotton lawns linen blends that sort of thing i thought this gorgeous cotton fabric would look great for summer so it's got this lovely floral prints in orange and purple and pink a really unusual color combo and i just thought that mini version would look so pretty sewn up in that so that was my choice for that one and then finally super excited about this pattern as well um such a good release from simplicity um 9923 another easy to sew and it is a trouser and short pattern but i just love the look of these trousers so i'm so into wide leg trousers now i'm fully on the wide leg bandwagon we, it's kind of we went from skinny jeans to wide legs probably a few seasons ago and yeah I am well in the zone of wide legs now and loving them and these trousers I just think the proportions look great on them some wide legs can be overly wide but they look they tick the wide leg trend without being too overly wide um, they look like they've got it sort of hits on the natural waist on the on the pattern packet um, they've got a button down front a fly front zip belt loops and then they've got really cool sort of um, statement pockets on them as well I just really like this design just have a look um, at the back there are waist darts at the back as well for a good fit there you've got different lengths you can make a crop trouser or a full length trouser and then you've got the option for the shorts the sort of Bermuda style shorts as well this would be a really useful pattern for me I really want to get around to making this one as well it runs in an 8 to a 26 26 is a 48 bust 41 and a half waist and a 50 hip and this again is designed to be sewn up in those sort of bottom weight wovens uh, chalets denims linens poplins satins twills that sort of thing and I thought I would show you our linen cotton mix fabric because I am currently making a waistcoat in this um, in the navy colorway last year I made a pair of shorts in the pink colorway and I have to say it is gorgeous it is gorgeous to work with uh, it presses beautifully it's just a delight honestly it really is and it's a lovely weight it would be perfect for these trousers I love Love this sort of uh, red color but it also comes in a range of other colors as well so that was my choice for that one um, but yeah I hope you've enjoyed that today I hope you're as excited about the new season and all these gorgeous designs as I am don't forget you can find everything I've talked about today on our website so do jump on and take a look if you like what you see today please like and subscribe and I'll look forward to seeing you next time